I literally sit down to film this, take a sip out of my coffee, spill it all over myself. Why? <laughs> unsubscribe. Don't even subscribe to this channel, just unsubscribe. Unworthy. I'm unworthy. Let's get to it. I'm no fitness expert here, okay? I am not certified in any way, but there are just some things that you kind of know feel a little bit off. Let's start with this first one. This is called Define, and it's basically meant to define your jaw line. Ah, uh, this, mm. This very weird tool went viral on TikTok a few months back. It felt like everybody was trying it, but not everybody was being honest about their before and after results. The product sold on Amazon is meant to have a workout guide that if you use it for 15 to 20 minutes every single day, you'll come out with a chiseled chin. It's endorsed as a natural, quote unquote, healthy way to get a nice jawline. And in some magical land, it will tone and define your face. All through the power of a little tool. What in the world? Oh God, I think I'm gonna hate this. I, something about this doesn't feel safe. Like, are all of the dentists watching? Is this even allowed? In all honesty though, this is no joke. This dermatology nurse kind of clapped back and said that this is terrible for your jaw. It's one of the worst things that you can do for your jaw and you can easily develop TMJ. So please do not try this at home. The instructions say boil to fit, which I think means you obviously need to sanitize it, but maybe it can also mold a little bit once it's soft. Ooh, there she is. This is so weird. Okay. What? I think it goes in sideways like this. Oh my Lord. So this is absolutely wrong, but they give you no clear instructions on how to put it in on the box. You're supposed to use those white strips for your teeth, but I found <sighs> it to be more uncomfortable that way. So you're probably gonna see me fidget around with it for the rest of the video. <laughs> this is the, the stupidest thing. The stupidest thing I've ever done. Probably because it shouldn't work to begin with. Oh wait. It feels like I'm doing it wrong. There is pretty much no explanation on which way this is supposed to go. I'm just so sensitive with my teeth. I'm really nervous something is going to happen badly. <laughs> Holly! I mean, don't you exercise your jaw when you're like chewing? I don't know, This something about this. I basically tried to figure out how to use this for the next few days, just putting it in when I was watching TV or something or getting ready in the morning. Honestly, it was the most uncomfortable thing to even try and chew on. Any way that I tried to maneuver in my mouth, it was not squishy enough to comfortably bite down. I don't know how people would do this for 30 minutes at a time. It even just felt so unsafe. I really don't wanna endorse this product Every time I use it, I have to be so careful because one, I'm paranoid about my teeth, but two, I'm paranoid about my teeth. I don't really know if this is worth it, but I just, I wanna be honest, I don't know if I'm seeing a difference or if it's all in my mind. Bottom line, I don't think I would ever truly use this. I'm all right not incorporating this into my routine. I don't think there's any substantial scientific evidence backing this. I probably wouldn't recommend you buying it. I don't think it's that fabulous. I'm all right with my kind of lack of jaw structure. I don't like putting something in my hands and then constantly having to chew on it. it just feels like so many germs. I don't even remember what this is. What? Literally, what is this? According to my order, this is the world renowned multifunctional thigh master muscle fitness equipment thigh blaster leg. Really gotta get that SEO. There is no good way to describe this other than the most awkward tool that you've ever seen, but it is sort of fun to play with, I'm not gonna lie. Versatility is truly endless with this contraption. Thanks to Amazon, it looks like this product has a few different purposes. We can either go for the arm workout, the ever so fabulous leg squeeze, or the flamingo dance. This particular graphic is promoting the chest and breast exercise, something I do quite often. Essentially, I think this is supposed to work because when you push in these straps, it does have a lot of resistance to it. Right now I'm kind of vibing with this arm chest booby thing. You can be multitasking, easy as pie. It's probably about three to five pounds of resistance if I had to guess. We also have this inner thigh action. Not bad. I really don't know if this is actually giving you a workout though. It does have that same similar sensation of this machine at the gym. Oh my God, what is happening? I think this is the leg destroyer, but this is honestly just awkward and uncomfortable. I'd say I'm probably least impressed by its main advertising feature, which is the thigh blaster, the thigh worker, whatever the heck. Honestly, the arm movements are probably a lot more feasible. They're a lot more easy to do. And maybe that's just because I need 
to work on my upper arm strength, but this was the one that kind of impressed me the most. It's very awkward. Uh, it's been sitting on my counter for at least a week now. It's very atrocious. It can't fold in any way. So if you have space for something about, yay, 18 inches long, maybe consider buying this. I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to do. Like This is no easy task. It kind of feels like your legs get a little bit work. To me, it just sort of feels like maybe a waste of time, maybe a waste of money. Unless this is backed by some sort of science, some sort of PT recommends this, I think it's still gonna be a no from me. I'm gonna say maybe a 7.2 for this one, just because it's a little bit less ridiculous than the others. Although all of these ratings are very tainted on the fact that these are all ridiculous products. I'm excited for this one. This is an ab stimulator. It says that this is meant to massage, relieve any symptoms of tight muscles or help your digestion. That is absolutely not how it is marketed. It is marketed to try and get you to buy this thing to hopefully stimulate your abs to come out. This is so intimidating. Ah! It's like kind of cold and sticky. You obviously have all of these different little remotes. Oh my God. Oh, I feel like Iron Man. It kind of just feels like your phone is vibrating on your stomach. Dear Lord, why? This literally looks like I am Iron Man. These are also the different intensities so I can turn it up a little bit higher. It's not staying on that well. I don't think the adhesive is really that strong, but I sort of thought going into this that this was wanting to somehow be an ab workout while I'm lying down, like reading my Kindle, sitting on the couch watching Netflix. But really this is so much different. It's kind of soothing in a weird way. These little battery packs only last for 12 minutes and they provided three of them. So I'll definitely have to change those out intermittently, but I'm so confused. It's just not natural. It really isn't. It's kind of making me hungry. <laughs> really and truly, this thing is just more fun than anything, but I wouldn't count this as any sort of workout, just electric shocks to my stomach, which sounds way more intense than it is. I also think it's silly to think that doing something like this could help you gain an ab that just makes absolutely no sense. Everybody has abs, they're only shown or revealed through a lesser body fat percentage, etc., etc. Maybe you're somebody that really loves kind of like this is so weird. Maybe you like small bits of electricity to just kind of pulsing to your core. In no way, shape, or form do I think that this has any contribution to helping somebody gain abs. I don't know if that's solely the main advertisement of a product like this, but that's sort of the way at least Noel Beck made it look. I'm being honest. It's not staying on anymore. It just is slipping off my body left and right. It has to be charged like every 10 minutes, so it's not realistic for you to sit on the couch with something like this and just expect a whole episode of Bridgerton to happen without you having to change this battery pack four or five times. I don't even think you should waste your money on this. I probably won't ever, ever use this. <laughs> I think I'm going to rate this probably a three out of 10. Very fun to try, so not realistic in terms of actually qualifying as a fitness product. I saw absolutely no difference in my stomach. I just don't think you should waste your coin. Just don't do it. I think the moral of the story here is to not always buy what the internet is selling. Do your own research. Don't always buy into what people are trying to get you to purchase. Sometimes things are just outright ridiculous. We can have a good laugh about it and not take yourself too seriously. <laughs> Love you all so much. Let me know if you like this video, what you want to see next in the comments down below. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on TikTok. I love you all. I'll see you in the next one.